Bob Williams, the experienced and capable referee looking after this one. I love an area title fight. You may not get a lot of finesse and technique, but you'll get a lot of heart, blood and thunder. And two guys really going for it. That's what we're expecting to see here over 10 rounds. As Chris Ajay Dua here from Brentwood with his back to us defends his super welterweight belt against a man 13 years his junior. Ben Hall from Chadwell Heath in Essex. And what we've seen from Ajay Dua in the past, this is his fifth fight for this belt. We can expect anything, quite frankly. His first fight ended in a draw. He had a rematch with Nathan Graham. He lost that one on a dislocated shoulder, and he's come out throwing a big punch there. Then he uh, met with Freddie Turner, and sustained a bad cut on that one. When they rematched later, he was on the floor heavily, got up, managed to land a shot on Freddie, who went down and dislocated his knee. So goodness knows what's going to happen this time. The Hall is looking at textbook look about his early boxing here, out, everything nice and tight, nice and precise looking. And to do, do it looks as if he'll be here, there and everywhere, bobbing and weaving from punches from strange angles. So we've got a nice little blend of styles here. Yes, Andrew Dua came to the game late. Had a few setbacks in his life. Uh, dabbled in a bit of non-league football, had to overcome some problems, was working on a building site, and a friend of his on the site, who was a pro boxer himself, said, well, come on down to the gym, come and join me, Gareth Lawrence, that's who that was, and he said, all right, I'll give it a go, loved it, had ten amateur fights, the last of which was against Chris Eubank Jr., then turned pro, with the ambition, and he said, the dream of winning a southern area title, and he's achieved that, and he's a really happy, positive, dynamic kind of fella. Great fun to be around. And he also said, look, I'm not settling for this. Now I've got it. I don't want to give it up. And it's up to young Ben Hall here to see what he can do to take, take it from a man 13 years his senior. You know, Hall's been making them miss in the, in the early stages here, getting a couple of nice little body shot there. Looks to me as though Hall has settled a little bit quicker. But... Uh, how do you do a trying things out? Yeah, the game plan for Ben Hall, talking to his trainer Peter Sims, was to try and take the centre of the ring, apply intelligent pressure, see if he can just come apart a little bit and then try and capitalise. Nice uppercut there coming in from Hall. Beautiful shot. Yeah, I'm quite impressed with the coolness of Hall. He's a kid. You know, so I mean, this is a a little step up for him, he's been cool, been pretty precise with his boxing, he's been making, as you do, I miss quite a bit, yep, and I'm impressed in the early stages. A bit of a glimpse there of a, a bit of damage around the left eye there of Ben Hall. Hall caught him with a, a good shot. right hand counter there in the last few seconds, a couple of big hooks swinging in as well, as you do, in a bit of trouble here. He was on the floor when he won this belt, remember, gets through to here, the belt. And Hall walking very slowly back to his corner with a little nod to his trainers if to say, yeah, that went according to the plans. Well, that's Jamie Williams there, his trainer, telling us you do, yes, you made a mistake, you switched off, you got punished. Yeah, the punch caught him in the, in the temple, and that can kind of scramble your thinking a little bit, and he didn't get a chance to recover from it, but thankfully for him, the bell sounded. That was a, a really powerful shot, and uh, an impressive opening round from Young Hall. Did everything right, defensively it was good, offensively it was good, and that was a big confidence builder for him. So it's out for round two. He's known for his heavy hands, Ben Hall. That's why John Ryder has been using him in sparring for his fight later on tonight against another fellow with very heavy hands, Sergei Kamitsky. And well, actually, Dua felt those heavy hands at the end of that opening session. Let's see what kind of adjustments he can make now. And looking uh, more closely at Ben Hall's left eye, just a little bit red, so there's no cut or damage, which is good news for him. Worth keeping an eye on Ben Hall as a counter-puncher as well, Jimmy, does he? He says he likes to throw counters. 
Yeah, well, it, it looked in the early stages, uh, you know, a smart tactic is to, to move forward and draw leads, so you're counter-punching on the front foot, and he's been doing a little bit of that, which is quite clever, you know, for, a, for, a, <laughs> for such a young man. But yeah, there's a solid look about him as well. Good speed to go with that power. Takes a shot very well. There he is looking for the counters again. This time not quite finding it, but Ajay Dua not looking too comfortable in there. Very herky-jerky, looking to try and make something happen for himself, trying to draw something, and Hall looking, as you said, Jim, very composed, solid, and doing something he wanted to do, take the centre of the ring. And he's just picking his moments, you know, and he's, he's not countering every lead that comes towards him. He's just taking his time, this little feint there from Ajadua. In the first round, defensively, Hall was good as well. Little half step back, then coming back with the counters. So uh, yeah, I think the, the benefit of good sparring is showing in his boxing. Yes, he also sparred with uh, young Ted Cheeseman. He's a little finish there at the end of that exchange from Hall. And Tyler Goodjohn came down and did some work with Ben. And again, Hall, a bit too sharp, a bit too fast. Nicely accurate as well. See, the punch that, that shook up Ajadu in the opening round, it takes a little while for the, to, to throw the effects of those shots in the temple. But he's, he's looking OK now. At the start of the round, you know, he, he looked a little bit tentative. But his legs are looking strong again, but he's just struggling to find the range. Jimmy Tyson knocked Ben Hall out of the centre of the ring. Hall is just planting himself there and dictating the tempo, dictating the pace, the turns, everything. A little wobble there from Ajay Dua. And Hall, while he's in centre ring, is just moving Ajay Dua around wherever he wants him. Yeah, I have to say, I like the look of Hall. I, I like pretty much everything he's done up to now. Another good round for him. having the last word in the exchanges as well, Hall, which is never a good sign. If you look at that, you do is corner. Seconds out, round three. Round three of this 10 rounder, Chris Ajadua in the blue with the yellow trim, defending his southern area super welterweight belt against the youngster from Chadwell Heath, Ben Hall. I'm not making a particularly good start of it, it has to be said. The champion who came into this one saying, I'm mentally stronger. The plan is I'm going to test him mentally, test his heart as well, see how he holds up to the pressure. Well, that's been the problem. There has been no pressure yet from Ajay Dua, who needs to start finding something here. And he doesn't look to be getting much purchase in his punches, Ajay Dua. So even if he was to land, you know, I don't think they're going to trouble Hall. But as Hall looks set, he looks solid, and he looks ready to come back with something, you know, every second. Pacing it well as well here, Hall. We saw him in a fight a year ago at the O2 gym. Uh, I think you and I watched him from near the back of the hall that night against Ryan Toms. He faded horribly. I was lucky to uh, get a draw in the eyes of many observers that night. And uh, had an inquest about it in his camp afterwards and found out he was basically living on beans on toast. And he was mixing that up with spaghetti on toast. And they said, all right, we're getting a dietitian in, we're sorting that out, and they said that's just not been an issue since stamina. It certainly shouldn't be if he continues to jog through the rounds of this pace through 10 here. Well, glad you do is trying to waken up a little bit more now, a bit more movement, a bit more adventurous, if you like. But still not producing a lot. A little double jab from him there. Yeah, we saw a couple of those at the end of the last round as well, so... Maybe that's something he can work with, getting that double jab going regularly. And as you say, he's, he's got to bring something behind that to give Hall something to think about. Yeah, well, some nice upper body movement from him, but, you know, the, some nice moves, but they're, they're just... It, he's not making them work yet. And Hall is not wasting punches. That's 
That's something else that you expect from a young fighter. Peter Sim said this. He, he, he used to load up with everything, try and knock his fella out a little low blow there, just uh, acknowledged by Bob Williams. And apology from Hall. He's taking his time with his punches. He certainly isn't loading up. And he's just looking for the opportunity now and seeing if he can land one of those big right hands of his if the opportunity comes. But at least Ajay Du has managed to get him out of center ring a little bit, but look at the response from Hall. A bit of showboating from Ajay Dua, but that was a couple of very solid left-hand counters from Ben Hall up against the ropes. This has been a quiet round, but I've still liked the quality of what Hall has been doing. Not been allowed to do so much in this round. Ajay Dua has kind of woken up a little bit, but still not you know, threatening, but not really producing him, I Another decent left hook to the body there from Hall. And the body assault continues. Decent response there on the belt from Ajay Dua. Very solid start this for a young man with just a handful of fights to his to his name. Well, again, uh, the solid shots to the body and to the head. Call Another the round, but I liked uh, what Hall was doing. Second out, round four. Round four. All planted, centering again, Ajay Dua. A lot of upper body movement. The pattern continues. Paul in no rush, Ajay Dua. Looking to land little raids here and there. Looking to draw something from Hall, who's not biting. In fact, to add something to what Hall is doing is maybe just to show a little faint. You know, he's waiting for the punches to come from Ajadu as, as opposed to fainting and drawing them. So more chance of countering it, you know, if you kind of draw the leads, if you force the other guy to throw. So the little faint and threats, just to, to break the rhythm up a little bit. with the right hand, the left did get through from Hall. And again, how often do we see it? Hall is a guy that likes to count a bunch and he's done that successfully, but he's also leading off effectively as well. Ajay Dua is a very tough guy, that's well known. Peter Sims, Ben Hall's trainer, knows that. He's worked Ajay Dua's corner himself on uh, more than one occasion. He says he's a tough guy, he's a proud guy. And we're not going to get rid of him easily tonight. Hall struggling to pin him down now, not the same success he was having ever, there was nothing wrong with that right hand. Well, he's going to need to continue this wearing down process as well, Hall, because as they do it, gets up from shots. We've seen that plenty of times in his career, a big grin there from Hall. He only has one stoppage to his name. Although he's had opponents on the floor plenty of times, including five in his last two wins. It's keeping him there that's been the problem for young Ben. It'll be taking a bit too long to get his punches off in this round, but the constant movement of Ajadua, he's just struggling to pin him down now. Yes, that, that accuracy that was impressing in the first couple of rounds, not so impressive in this round, certainly. And again, a big assault, but Ajadua is blocking these, swinging his head out of range as well. But it's still Ben Hall on the front foot, looking like the man in charge and Jay Dewar just trying to keep him occupied there but all defensively better as well yeah. Peter Sims administering the instructions to Ben Hall yeah well, the drones are getting a little bit closer had to do some little popping punches in that round. We're seeing the best one probably at the moment from Hall. The round's certainly getting closer. Second out, round five. 
But we are approaching halfway in this 10 rounder. Ajay Dua, if he's going to win this one, if he's going to hang on to his belt, he's going to have to come from behind to do it. Paul continuing to have success with those body shots. Another little warning from Bob Williams just where he puts those body shots. That was a decent left hand to the body in return there from Ajay Dua. That was a clever little left. See, I think uh, Hall's been told to put punches together. You know, the single shots, you know, against the kind of upper body movement of Ajadua. That's the reason he wasn't pinning him down, but he's putting shots out now in threes and fours. A bit more success trading jabs there, both of them. Ajadua just hanging his chin out there invitingly. Paul accepted the invitation. And a more positive start to this round from Hall. Rajay Dua seemingly not too bothered being up against the ropes, making no effort to get away. Tying up, tucking up. And again, nice left hand to the body there as he backed away Ben Hall and then followed it up with a hook upstairs and then he's right on his case as he continues to try and wear Rajay Dua down. Another body shot. Winging its way through the back of the guard. Yeah, I think it's pretty obvious the Hall has been told to pick it up again in this round. He said just seemed to settle as though the job was half done, which it isn't. But it's much more positive here that Ajidu really wants to be getting himself off of those ropes. Yeah, he isn't really making any effort to do so. Yeah, see, he's had chances, Ajidu, to get off the ropes. He's happy there, he's comfortable. Well, I think he's coming off second best in the exchanges. I don't know why he's happy to be there. He's certainly not troubled or distressed. Again, Hall made to miss badly, and a lot of Hall's work is missing. Maybe he's happy to let Hall blow some steam. And a lot of steam got blown there. You know, it's Hall doing the matador stuff. Come on, have a go at that. Ajay Dua says, no, thanks. And it's Ajay Dua's turn to miss. Shot and save are coming from Hall. As you do some good movement, some nice little clever moves. But I still feel he has to produce more than he's doing. Six out, round six. Round six then of this ten rounder. At stake, Chris Ajidua's Southern Area Super Welterweight belt. A belt he takes huge pride in, and rightly so. But it's a belt currently in the crosshairs of Ben Hall. Uh, timing is everything, but it's a shame for Hall that he landed that lovely right-hand counter virtually on the bell there because Ajay Dua felt it. The legs did a little stutter. That was the giveaway. And then before Hall could capitalize, the bell. But that's a couple of times now. That the Chadwell Heath man has, has rattled his opponent. <laughs> and here we go again with Hall tying up Ajay Dua on the ropes, but Ajay Dua looking after himself pretty effectively. But Hall really stepping back and starting to unload now and getting through. Now he's coming apart, and Bob Williams stops it. Sensational finish from Ben Hall. Blasted his way through there. And those heavy hands have produced an area title. One or two boos in the arena. They thought that was stopped early, but he was certainly distressed there, Ajay Dua. Bob Williams saw that 
and was decisive in stepping in. Well, I was impressed, Nick, by young Ben Hall from start to finish there. A couple of quiet rounds, OK. But uh, apart from that, really, it was a terrific performance. He was cool, he was patient, he did all the right things. Defensively, he was good. Offensively, he was also good. Really showing some good punching power. He shook, as you do, up several times. A couple of times, as you've said, is saved by the bell, more or less. Maybe that's been a little bit dramatic. But he was always throwing the harder, the, more, the quality punches. Always looked in charge from where I was concerned. Adjadu had some good moves and some good movement, but uh, he always felt he should have been producing more. He wasn't producing more, and here, as you can see, punches without reply. Well, punches was it slightly premature? I don't think so. He wasn't really coming back. He was taking shots. Yeah, he was taking these, wasn't he? Clean. They were landing. And look how close the referee is. Yeah, right on a, it. That was a solid left hook there, solid uppercut in the right hand. And when heads have been rolled around by punches, then the referee, his job is to move in before damage is done, not afterwards. So I cannot argue with the stoppage there. I know some of the crowd have. OK, they weren't going through 100% clean, but that one to the jaw was. And I think that's the one that worried the referee. Then a further right hand to the head, nothing coming back. I don't see too much wrong with the stoppage. Yeah, he was unravelling big time there, wasn't he? And no real complaints from Chris Ajidua, who is such a positive, really bubbly character, a real credit to the business. His reign as area champion is over. This man's has just begun. And I'm sure he'll have his sights set on one or two other things as well. Well, the game plan worked. They thought they'd get the late stoppage, maybe came even a little bit earlier than Ben Hall was expecting. A, a performance of real maturity from the 22-year-old. He's grown a lot in the last 12 months. He's the new area champion. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes one minute and eight seconds of round number six. Referee Bob Williams stops the contest. In his opinion, Chris Aguijua, no position to continue. The winner, the new Southern Area Super Welterweight Champion, Ben, the Sensation Hall. The smile says it all, doesn't it? From